Gordo being left behind. No, but that's what Gordo no, told me. But, but these people, we case, want them out, not each other. Yeah, what if the two sides fight? We lose Kenny one week, we take John out one week. We lose Sarah one week, we take Adele out one no, week, I, and then you, you're not left behind. I don't want, I don't even want it to come. I don't come, want that to happen. I don't want it to come to you that. I saying, just don't you're want. Thinking, you're thinking too far down the road. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that at all. Did they unlock the door? I'm talking about every time I say something, I get ganged up on, like right now. He I hope you don't feel I was getting No, but like, you. you were defending her, he was defending her. I was, how was I? You were, exp you were explaining about her, yes. I was I, just explaining yeah. how she was cracking up I understand, week. but then like, Kenny gets really defensive over her and tells me that, you know, she, uh, she's, uh, what's it called? Like, you're the one freaking out right now and you shouldn't be freaking out. Excuse me, you're acting like this and you're not even on the block yet, both of you. I was just in the same exact situation. I was on the block. I was put up there by Canada with my best friend. Then you admit to me that he was campaigning against me. Thanks. Did I, she not say he was campaigning against me last two days? I heard you say it. So, like, how are you making this situation like as if it's you're dying and the other one I'm leaving going home? I just went through that exact situation right now. But here's the and thing. I was actually happening. We need to put this stuff aside. Yeah, I understand you that, do. but then to why? To survive, like literally to survive. Okay, but I didn't talk to anyone back the apart. I walked in the room. Yeah, and she just asked for a couple minutes, just to have an emotional talk. I understand that, but she looked super fucking pissed. She, like I'm saying, she looked, you took that the wrong way. That wasn't right. She literally is right now lying there with a migraine. That's the look, I guess the look she has when she, before a migraine. She had that look the whole conversation. She was holding her head, staring at me like, this is coming on hard, They need. I need Advil. And I, when you looked, all she did was turn her head. Her facial expression didn't change. You took that as, she's pissed at you, but I just took that as, that's the way she looked the whole conversation. Okay. And I don't, like, I don't want you to think I'm making this shit up. It, no, I understand that, I guess. And like, I, I see how you would take it like that, but I'm saying, yeah. In this house, I would take it like yeah, this. Yeah, I get it. Outside this house, I wouldn't take it like no, that. If someone turned to you with a crazy angry face. Yeah, I get face, it. But I think she actually moment, just has a mic. No, yeah, I know that. But and the I thing is, I didn't know that. So when you turn yeah. around and look at me like that, this is but how you take know. things in here. But instead of reacting, you should just, like, regroup, not let it phase you. An hour later, whenever I was done with her, I don't know, five minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, I would just come and explain, hey, yeah, she was fucked up. She doesn't want to lose Kenny or anyone on our side. She doesn't want to. And she's sad because it's going to happen. All of us That's feel like that. That's going to be me and Kenny. All of us feel like that. And people just react different ways to it. She's getting a migraine because of it and getting that bitch look on her face. But that's what she looked like. It wasn't directed at you. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep my feelings to myself because I obviously take. You can take talk it. to me about your feelings. No, anytime I know, but I just wrong. obviously take things yeah. the wrong way. Yeah, obviously, I do. I'm just saying in that scenario. Yeah. You can obviously talk to me too. Yeah. Yeah, in that scenario, I honestly do think you took it the wrong way. I can see how you took it that way, but you should just not always jump to the the worst case scenario. It, it, it's not like she was mad at you. She was mad at the scenario, and that's why she had that look on her face. And I'm not defending her and jumping on her side. I. I understand you just had a really tough week, and it's really hard for you too. And that probably leads to more of your paranoia, mm -hmm. and that's why you're acting. And you I do. also think it's because I saw her talking alone again with you. If you catch my drift, I catch your drift, but not really after. Like, a, it's, a, a, it's, yes, I know that. I know that. But the thing is, it's like three separate times, and I'm always asked to leave. Well, that was the only time she's ever asked you to leave, and I. I no, don't think you should ever worry about me after me being so Yes, I understand that. But three separate times today she asked me to leave. It was not only with okay. the time with you. Anyway, it's fine. Like, I'm just, I guess, whatever. It's me. It's my, it's, I'm in the wrong. I'm. Uh, but I'm not saying that. No, no, I know you're not saying that. I'm saying that. I'm just saying, like, I'm just going to let it go. And I think all of us, if she could have handled it better, you could have handled it better. And I could have probably done a better job mediating. Like, no one is specifically no, in the fine, but it's just like, and then Kenny gets very defensive of her. And it's like, you're the one freaking out right now. Yeah, uh, but you should just take that information and store it as like, okay, this is what's happening with them, instead of openly letting them see how you think about it. 
That's just my opinion. See how they look? See what you think about them. Like, because you're saying, like, like you were saying to him how she was, you were defending her and stuff like that. Like, just register that in your brain. And I know, I've done that for the last five weeks. I know. But what sucks is that he tells me, I'm like, he's, he thought I was going to leave. I'm like, Kenny, if you think, don't tell me that you don't think I'm loyal. I've been loyal like crazy for the last five weeks. He's like, we've all done that a hundred times over. Really? Because I, I don't ever see you having to have got me off the block. I just know that we're all going to be together, whether we like it or not. We actually are. There's a clear-cut divide. No one's jumping ship to that side. You'd be low man on the totem pole. It wouldn't make sense. And no one's jumping ship from their side to ours. So we just have to not fight within our group. I know that. But right before that room, Sarah was talking to John in the corner, going like this to him. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And he had a super angry face on. And then he asked to talk to me. So, and what did he talk to you about? He, he said that he does it on purpose so that people see him pissed off. And he's like, he's like, uh, I'm just angry because I don't know where Sarah's head is at. No, 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 no. That's not what they were talking about. And people think I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway, whatever. I'm just going to keep it to myself. You don't have to keep it to yourself. You can tell me anything. I'm I know, always just down to listen. In here, just, I'm... I'm not like this outside, like when people no want to talk. No one is like this on the outside. I'm but not like this thing, on so, the outside. Like, you can't get mad at me for paranoia. I just saw her talking to Dawn. Then I come in there talking to you and then asked me to leave. But and then the was... fact that me and her were talking, I feel like, at least from my point of view, should never give you paranoia. I know. You're right. You're right. Because what the fuck is, like... More more solid than we than I am with her, and it's just like it makes me almost be like shit. I wish the Sabs believed that a little more. I do believe that. That's why I'm saying it's me. Then yeah, I'm just it, paranoid. It's just this. It's not you. It's the scenario we're put in. I'm it's supposed to say you were you were super stressed because of last week, and yeah, I'd be more were paranoid on the block too. Today and could have gone but, home today. But it's that's stressful. the thing. So why, like, that's why I don't understand. Why is it understandable for her to have a headache and for them to be upset with each other, uh, with uh, about their situation? But it hasn't even happened yet. But it's not okay for me to have. I I literally just lived that real scenario where it was me up against him. Mm -hmm. They're not even on the block yet, him and her, or him alone, or... You get what I mean? Well, Kenny's allowed to have Sarah's back because he's closer to Sarah than he is to you, just like Rochelle's having your back because she's closer to you. Yeah. So it's like, Kenny is to Sarah as Rochelle is to you. Yeah, I get it. It's just, it's tough. It's fucking tough. When people do that to me, I fucking hate it. But it happens to me a lot when I walk in a room and two people are talking and then they leave and I'm like, oh, fuck, like, shit. And my mind thinks a million things. People and tell I just me leave all, all the time. Up. And I don't, just don't even care anymore. I'm like, okay. I, I just follow the fuck up. I'm like, shit, I just hope that wasn't about me, but I'll never know. Like, At least you and Sarah tell me to leave all the time, but it's, it's, can, no, it's not I trust you. that you're not talking That's about me. Well, yeah, you don't even have to think of that one second. <clears throat> Arlie, you're totally right. Sorry it's, about that. No, no, no. Never apologize. You just went through a fucking rough week, and I get that, so I'll never hold it against you. We just, our main goal is... I have to sleep. To stay together. Mm -hmm. That's just our main goal. And we need to start fucking winning and start taking them out. I can't Damn. believe they won. I know. You can't even talk about that, because then I'll, I'll crack up. But see, that's the thing. Like, I just went through this whole week. I'll be against Andrew, find out that Andrew genuinely was hardcore campaigning against me. Then he leaves. Then they win. Worst week ever. I just want to go to bed and wake up and be in tomorrow. So it was the worst day. Fuck, I was so mad. Hey, who told you this thing about you being a pawn? Well, I was talking to Heather and I was just like, She's like, you're not my target, but she didn't say I wasn't a pawn. She's like, all right, now you're not, but I will tell you if you're going to be one. She kind of made it seem like I might be one. Now you're not her target, but now you're not her pawn. I'm not her target. Hmm. That's well, kind of scary. When the hell did you talk to her? Like an hour ago. When? Didn't, didn't you talk to her? You talked to her again? Yeah. Stop doing that. Okay, so and what did she say exactly? That, like, I'm not, I'm not your target right now. 
I don't know who's going to be my pawn, but I'll tell you if you're going to be my pawn. Okay, so if anything, you're just a pawn. You're not her target, she said. Yeah, but I don't want you to against... go up period. No, I don't want you to go up period. So she said, you're not her target. And you're not her pawn for right now. Yeah. But if you will be her pawn, she'll, she'll tell me. She'll tell you. Allison, you, Vito, take you off, but Kenny. Yeah, but what if it's instant? If it's instant, they're gonna tell her, and she's just gonna put up Allison and Kenny. Well, let's just, it's too hard to predict shit. We should just Good. focus on being a solid unit and let the rest yeah, we just have to have trust in each other. As much as we have paranoia and like whatever, they even if they were talking by chance, we're not putting up anybody. We're not. We we have. We're gonna go after those people, not each I know, other. But Andrew telling me that that they're annoyed at me, and I, I I'll be the next one out if I don't stop, and it really stressed me out. Listen, Allison. Just Don't me. let that stuff stress you out. This game's stressful. You can't let it... I know, but is it true what he said? Did they tell him that? How the fuck would I know? But that's what I'm saying, so... Again, like I said, that scenario could never play out. I do this a lot in the outside world, where I overthink scenarios that have like an 80% chance of never happening. Yeah, and I think what if about they try to convince her to put me? And you get that what I mean? Be pretty, then you... But I don't know. I don't see that happening. Instead of Kenny, you get what I mean? That would pretty much be a miracle. They're not going to put you instead of Kenny. Yeah, if like anything, that's a pretty and Kenny. far out there scenario, considering Kenny's the biggest threat in everyone's mind. Like, I'm not just pulling that out of my ass. How could the biggest... He'd be a boss player. That's what player. I'm saying. If anything, he'd put you and Kenny. Like that's what I'm Kenny. saying. But I could very well, like, you, I could think that too, obviously. Any of us can think that. Yeah. What Any of us do? could think that. But it literally could be me. Like, Kenny could be, like, put up the two, two, two guys left. Like, but I can't think those thoughts. Yeah. Because it sucks. And it puts me in a bad space when I do. Well, sorry. I understand that. That's what I feel right now. Anyways, I'm sorry. No need to, We're there's sorry. literally no need to apologize. I think we should go to bed and just wake up. <sighs> it's just a really tough fucking week. It just sucks because we're not in control. And not having any control or knowledge in a game like this is so hard, so hard. Sometimes you just have to accept things as they come. We will lose a member this week. It's just going to happen. What was Kenny saying in the room? That he was probably going to go home? When? What was he saying? When I had just walked in. Oh, we were talking just about who she was going to put up. And he said, I'm most probably going to go home. Yeah. That's what he thinks. But I think I'm going to put up too after I have my talk with her, so. Whatever. It is what it is. There's, she's going to make up her own mind. Yeah, Kenny is in the worst position on our side, in my mind. Which fucking sucked to be Kenny right now. I think the rest of us are pretty much on level playing field in Kenny's. No, you're at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, again, easier for you to say, though, because yeah. I feel like I'm next in line as physical threat. Like, I know I haven't done anything too crazy, but... You're still a guy over a I'm girl. Still, I'm still a guy in a game where sometimes it's strength, which is scary to I me. I think if they're going to go based off physical threat, they'll put a balance. Yeah, maybe. Better for you. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. right. But again... I don't know. I'm not in their heads. So I just... Yeah. All I know is Kenny is in a bad spot. And... It sucks. One of us is going home this week. Fucking sucks. We just can't let it break us up. We, we can't really break us up, but we can't fight. Yeah. 
No. Because we're bound to each other either way. We just can't fight. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Again, it's tough. And anytime you want to chat or need to vent or anything, definitely all ears. Never turn anyone away. But what was she telling John? I don't know. Maybe she's just campaigning for herself. Like, maybe she's just... She's trying to make sure her and Kenny aren't going to go home like any of us else would. But I don't know what she was saying to try to make him think that. She, she could have been saying something about us. I don't know, but who knows? But anything that she says... She could be trying to get him to put me I believe the other side would just see through because what she are they going to do? Get... Not put up Kenny? Not target Kenny? That wouldn't make any that sense. She's trying to get probably get them to put up both of us instead of Kenny. Well, that's a nice thought. Maybe she's not, though. I'm just saying. Yeah. She's trying to protect her and Kenny's game. I mean, it makes sense. But they're not going to listen to that. She yeah, the other side has her mind made up, no matter what the fuck we say. I honestly believe that. I don't think anything we say is going to have any influence on what they're going to do. They've been wanting power for a long time, and they have it, and they've thought of this day for a long time. They're going to do what they want, and there's nothing we can do, so we have to just let it play out. This sucks. Why can't we have won? Seriously, what the fuck? This changes the fucking game. It's shitty. You can go to sleep while I stay here for a bit. I'm going to dip. Me. I'll leave you girls to your... Thank you so... Arlie, thank you very much. Yeah. If you see Sarah... I get, I get it, though. Like, it's a fucking tough, thank you. tough spot to be at. Thank I you. just want to always trust and believe in me. Yeah, I believe you. Because it's tough and we need each other more than ever now. Roll, roll. Yeah, if you see Sarah... Oh, I'll talk to her. It's fine. Yeah. Thank you so much, girls. Ease yeah. my mind. Thank you. Good night, ladies. Did you want to go to bed? I'll go in a bit.